Happy Sunday, everyone. This is Derek the Nitwit. And it's the first time viewing my channel. Welcome and welcome back to all my uh, returning people. Max says hi, and Little Miss is just trying to knock the camera over. So, this week has not been about rushing to finish a hat. I'm so happy to have the hat. Chuck is still really happy with the hat. I've got a picture of him in it, and I'm going to um, post that at the end of it. I did finish David's, um, what do I call it, sweater, his scarf that I was doing that was from um, Bag of Days Taste the Rainbow Pattern. Um, I've got a picture of the finished scarf and then a picture of him with the scarf on. I'll put that on at the end of the video. So what I'm doing now, my next project, I finally got Chuck to measure his head. So we're going to start his hat and scarf that I'm going to make for him. This is We're going to make it with the... Mandala Tweed um, from Lion Brand. This was uh, it's hundred percent acrylic and it is a medium, so it's a four. So we'll use a an eye or a 5.5 millimeter hook. And that's gonna be the Wanderlust pattern. The one that's the one that I made for him before, but it ended up being too small. Um, but it's a pattern that's easy to adjust the size. And if you'll see behind me, see, most people have a Christmas tree. This is my whip mystery, or whip mask, because there's a mass amount. I got this coat tree solely for the purpose of organizing all my projects. And when I put it up yesterday, there were eight projects. And I finished one of them. And I already got another project at it. My, I, last year, I made a cow using the... Uh, the loop, just you know, goes over the head up to there. And this was, I did this, you know, when all I knew how to do was loom knitting. And I gave that to my sister's friend, Kim, who really likes it and likes it more than I actually thought she would. You know, I just, when I make these projects and I give them to people, you know, and they say thank you, they say that they like it, but I always, you know, sometimes you wonder, you know, how much do they really like it? So it's nice when I find out that I've made something for someone and give it to them and they really like it. So she's been asking my sister for another one. I don't know if she was asking my sister to ask me to make another one or if she was asking my sister to learn how to make it. Because my sister does have this size loom. Like, you know, it's one that comes in a kit. Um, and I'm not sure if it's a wise idea to sniff random things that you find when you have a house full of cats. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to clean whatever's on this, clean it off, but I'm going to make her a cowl once they let me know what colors. So that gets the projects back up to eight. Now some of those projects, you know, like my junk blanket, my junk hats, that those are the ones that you kind of do, you know, like want to take along somewhere when, um, I need to do like in an office waiting room or whatnot. You know, when you use the, the tail ends of the, scar, the yarn and whatnot. So they're not priority projects. So I bet I finished David's from that. Um, oh, and so I get to work on the little plushie. Um, and let's see what the pattern was for this one. And I'll, I'll, you know, I'll link it down below as well. It is the Miffy pattern by Spunky Yarn Master, that's what the pattern says, and um, Natasha Stroke, and that one, I think came from Lovecraft, I'm not sure, but I'll find the link and post it down below, so, and I didn't have to embroider the, the eyeballs, because I just never come up with good eyeballs, but I found a bag of little eyes, you know, um, on eBay for like I think I got like a hundred of them for like a dollar. So there's that project that I'm work if I get to work on again. That that one had been on hold for quite a while. The blankets that I had frog told you last week that I was frogging. I, oh no, that's my knit blanket that I haven't worked on in a while. I lost it. Here it is. So I frogged it, and, you know, this is the same, you know, Chris, um, Bag of Days Taste the Rainbow pattern, but it's, okay, 
folded in half compared to me, you know, is longer than I am tall, and I am 5'10"-ish, depending on how much I can make myself stretch before they measure me. Um, so it's taller than I am, so that is that pattern. That, And then this is not a priority one. This is one that I do when I'm at home, and I'm just fed up with everything else, and I just want to break and work on something that is just solely, purely for me. We have, oh, here it is. The, um, the pride, you know, the scarf that I start, talked about, I started working for the person I met on the app that lives in Mexico. So we've got this much, and this is that 100% cotton, and it was the, um, Mirafil Bella Cotton. So I like it. It's lightweight. I mean, you know, he's he's in Mexico, and I know that there are parts of Mexico that get cold, and I know that if you're used to that weather, then what may still feel warm to me might feel cold to them, but it being cotton, it's going to be a better pick for him for where he is, say, you know, than making one out of wool. And as far as non-yarn projects, I actually... Took a, you know, the Rubbermaid tote. I got the, see, it's a little miss. She's being a little miss shithead, honestly. Um, but, there you go. Um, I have finished the transition to them to having the top entry litter box. You know, I cut the, the hole in the lid this morning. I didn't actually have anything that would cut the, um, through the plastic, I mean, like, I've got scissors, but I'm not going to ruin scissors trying to cut through, you know, a quarter-inch thick, you know, piece of plastic, or however thick it is. Um, so I took my drill with the biggest drill bit I had and just drilled holes, you know, kind of perforated it, and then just kept drilling till I was, I could use the drill to complete the holes, which I'm sure is not how you use a drill, and, you know, Tim Allen would seriously have issues if you watch me do it but I got it done then I used duct tape to kind of cover the edges to cover any sharp edges and um so they have a top entry litter box and I can just easily take the lid off and keep it clean and I got the best Christmas present in the world today my friend David and Chet got me a TV I'm so happy I have been wanting a TV, but, you know, that's, like, so that's so far down the list of, on priority that, you know, it would have been forever before I bought one. I mean, me and my sister were looking at some today, but, you know, it was more of window shopping. But I have a TV. It's a smart TV. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. So now I've got to figure out a way to mount it on the wall somewhere where the cats can't destroy it because they're cats. So anyway... This is a mellow week, um, just chilling out and getting ready to go to Mexico. I measured it or I counted it out earlier, 16, 16 days, 21 days, something like that. We're leaving January 8th. I think, I think it was 16 days, 16 hours when did it earlier. So, um, getting ready for that. The cats have their, their, not the cats. Only one of them is going. Max is going to get over to David's house to be babysat by Grandpa David. Uncle David. I'm not sure where he's going to kill me if I have to call him Grandpa. Little Miss is going to Mexico with me. So she goes to the vet to get her travel certificate on the 3rd. And then we are flying out on the 8th. And I will, I'll be down there for 10 days. So I'll definitely make at least one video when I'm down there. There, I looked for, I got on Google Maps and then just kind of Googled like yarn shops in Cosville. I mean, you know, I can go to Playa del Carmen, there's a Walmart, but, you know, I'm not sure what's the fun point of buying Walmart or buying yarn at Walmart in Mexico. I'd rather, you know, kind of find a local store to see what, um, why is it I bring the camera out? If I point it at them, they mellow out, but if I'm recording... They go schizo. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to Mexico to see what, um, I'm going to find some, you know, yarns down there. I want to, you know, I'm looking forward to snorkeling and 
street tacos and elotes and it's just it's gonna be fun helping my sister and um, she's got to move stuff from she's condensing from two apartments down to one she's got someone that's one of her friends gonna take over one of her apartments and so help her get that everything moved on that and get did a work done and just kind of chill out and have fun and enjoy the warm weather so didn't come back to Oklahoma to what will seem like abysmally cold after that so anyway I will check in with you guys in a couple weeks I just want to hear in the comments what you know projects you're up to what your plans are for Christmas and um, just let me know what you're up to. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. And um, if you could, you know, share it with some friends. I almost said if I, at 500 um, subscribers, you know, my goal really is to get up to a thousand because that's when I can monetize it. And um, I know I'm not ever going to get rich off YouTube, but honestly, you know, every little bit helps. And also, you know, for some people that, you know, I know for a lot of people, finances are tight. I forgot to mention this earlier. I have some apps that I use on my phone because you know Google and Apple they're tracking what we do anyway like data speed you know what you know what went not what not there's some apps that I have on my phone that earn me you know a little bit of money each month um, tracking the same thing that Google and, App and Apple does and um, I have a couple websites that I use that I do surveys on now I know that a lot of people talk about you know surveys you, you spend forever for them and you don't ever get anything or they bounce you through a bunch of um, Websites where you end up, they want credit card information. I actually have, there's two websites that I use. One that I don't really use because I almost never qualify for surveys. Another one called Cumi that I do use quite a bit and I make a decent amount of money. That's usually what I use so that, you know, I've done surveys on there and I'll get enough. That's what I get. That's how I, I pay for my haircuts or that's how I pay for my extra crochet courses. So if you guys are interested in knowing about, um, these apps or these websites that I use to get just a little bit of money, you know, you know, for yarn budgets, whatnot. My email is in the description below. Go ahead and shoot me an email. And that way I know that you want the information. I'm not going to spam you guys with it. I just, you know, and if you're in a situation you know, like mine, you know, sometimes, you know, having that little, you know, an extra five or 10 bucks a month, you know, helps. So if you're interested, you know, shoot me an email, let me know and I'll get that information to you. And, Anyway, have a great week, and I'll see you guys again in a couple days.